This video shows the detailing of window and door openings after the installation of Tyvek Thermorap R5. The first step is to make a horizontal cut along the top edge of the window opening. At each corner, make a 45 degree angle cut 6 to 8 inches long. The cut should extend to the outer edge of the bump out frame. Do not cut or damage the flashing previously installed at the bump out corners. After making the cuts, separate the insulation from the Tyvek home wrap top sheet and remove the insulation by making a cut along the top edge of the bump out frame at the head. Next, make a horizontal cut along the sill. Again, make 45 degree cuts, but these cuts should be no longer than 3 inches. Cut from each corner of the sill diagonally no more than 3 inches. Now, use a utility knife and cut through the Tyvek Thermorap R5 down to the middle of the window opening. It's only necessary to cut the Tyvek home wrap top sheet at this point. Separate and remove the insulation from the Tyvek home wrap top sheet on both sides of the cut. The 45 degree cuts at both the head and the sill will create a flap that will extend to the outside of the bump out frame. This allows you to remove the insulation to the outside edge of the bump out. The insulation can be removed by either cutting or tearing along the outer edge. When using the DuPont insulated batten CT as the bump out and the DuPont insulated batten, due to the width of the DuPont insulated batten CT, it's necessary to make two vertical cuts one inch beyond the rough opening. These cuts should extend to the bottom edge of the DuPont insulated batten CT. Just like the jams, you need to separate the insulation from the Tyvek home wrap top sheet. Remove the insulation by making a cut along the lower edge of the DuPont insulated batten CT. 